Hi! In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use a switch node to copy random objects to your points. Okay, so we're gonna start with creating a grid. And now I'm gonna just create some uh, a few objects we can copy to points. So like a box, tube and a tars. And in case you're wondering why it's all creating in the same node, it's because this creating context option. So now let me just put a switch and this node will switch between different inputs. So just like this. Okay, so now let's create some uh, for each point loop. So we can uh, con copy points, copy our objects to points. We'll use a copy node for this. Let's plug it in and now you can see it just copies the first input. So let me just scale it, scale all, all the objects a little bit. Alright, so nothing too much fancy. Now you can see we, we can switch between different objects. But what if we want to do like a random copy? So first of all, let me just uh, create a color so we can clearly see the difference. And just cap the ends on, on, on the tube. Okay, so nothing changed now. So first of all, we need to create our meta import node because we're going to use the iterations value which is stored under the detail and we're going to call the function called detail uh, take the path to the node we, which we want to copy it from so it's our for, for each begin metadata we'll type in the attribute we want to call and now you can see for my first point it used the first input for the second point it used the second input and for the other other points it used the third input so we want to have it random so let's put a random function and now you can see it uses only the first two inputs that's because random creates uh, values from 0 to 1 so we need to fit it to a wider range which would be uh, 0 to 2 because our inputs go from 0 to 2 and there you have it this is your random geometry copied to points okay but uh, now let's say we we don't want to type manually the number of inputs like this for for these three inputs okay, it's okay but let's say we want to have it automatic so there's actually a function for it in Houdini and uh, this function is called opera op op number inputs so i'm going to just create a new parameter and type here the name of the function op num num inputs and inputs and we're just going to point it to itself so it's taking number of inputs from itself and now you can see like we have three inputs so it's taking this number. Now we have five, so it takes it, it puts this number into the value. So we can copy this uh, function and paste it in, in the at the end. Actually, I should have put like minus one because now it goes from zero to three. So we get more, more terraces, and this is also a nice trick. Like if you want to have more objects of something, you can put just uh, the input into the switch, and you'll get higher chance that the object will appear. And we can also have a random seed. So we'll just use the the previous parameter that we used, and just copy the the channel in it. Now we just break the connections and make it a standard slider. We can slide and now you see we have a random seed. 
Alright guys, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.